Hey guys, this is Vogue Diary and today I will show you my creative makeup inspired by trendsetters. I will do the makeup in my own creative way. Check it out at Get Inspired. So the first part is to clear my skin, so I'll use Mitzler Air Water by Nivea. I feel like latest makeup trends are to be without makeup. For me, the biggest trendsetter about the natural look is Hailey Bieber. When I see her, I get inspired a lot. She has a very beautiful nature and uh, she always uh, looks good. She is very classy and I think she's a big inspiration. <laughs> My makeup artist who teaches me, Rita, she gave me some makeup tips and I use them. So. As she says, I should use tonic right after the micellar water to prepare my skin, so my skin is um, hydrated enough to get ready for the crazy makeup. The final step before I go to my foundation is the base. I should use a cream, so my skin is ready for the uh, foundation. Uh, this cream is Chlora, it's called Chlora. My friend created this brand. This product is very good. So I apply this cream to the four or five parts of my face. If I had a makeup artist next to me, I would have a massage, but <laughs> I don't have anyone. And actually I love the smell. I love the smell of this cream. For foundation, I use Estee Lauder Double Wear SPF 10. Um, this is a perfect match for my skin. Usually I mix it with any BB creams or bases, but today I will use just this product. So I do some chemistry. I start applying the foundation with a brush and then I blend it with a sponge. All the techniques I was taught by my teacher, like a few months ago I started practicing the makeup skills because my makeup skills are not perfect. Like I know how to create some makeup ideas, but I want them to be more professional. I really love uh, trendsetters who create their own style without anyone. Sometimes um, it's complicated because all of the celebrities, uh, most of the celebrities use um, the skills of their stylists or, or their makeup artists. So it's a very rare thing if you see a celebrity with a unique style and they create it by themselves. Actually, I was inspired a lot by Julia Fox and she's a very underground person. Like she's very hyped right now. Like there are a lot of, I don't know, a lot of things going around here right now, like memes and I don't know, funny videos. And I'm very inspired by her because she doesn't care about opinions. She's just herself. I'm not sure if she has a stylist. I guess she does have one, but as I know, she creates her own outfits by herself, some of her outfits. As we're done with foundation, I want to show you my creative makeup idea. I was inspired by Julia Fox, as I said before. I want to make these big black eyes and I have these purple lips. Uh, lately, I am crazy about purple. I add a lot of purple uh, into my makeup. The wig, I was thinking about this kind of hair, but I created this idea about a few months ago. I have um, a yellow and a blonde wig with me today, so I'm gonna be changing the wig style. This is the time of strong cheekbones. I will use this Manly Pro product and I'll just take a bit of this cream product. It looks like this, so... Uh, and I will mix it with uh, some foundation. Um, I don't see, but I made some mistake, like I didn't mix well the foundation and the cream palette, so the foundation is not um, sitting good on my cheekbones, so the next cheekbone I'm gonna be mixing uh, better, but you should be careful when you work 
on the palette. Like you should mix it very carefully. I have a perfect NARS concealer. Um, it is light to vanilla and I just apply it under my eyes. Uh, when I start applying concealer, I always remember Kardashian sisters and I think Kylie, she has an amazing, sexy and beautiful vibe and her, um, her brand, her beauty brand changed the world. I'm not sure anyone can beat her because there were a lot of celebrities repeating the idea of creating their own brand. And I guess only Rihanna could be her partner in crime like they both are the biggest influencers and i love the way they promote the next step is to work with eyebrows today i'm not going to be doing any accents on them i will just use the nyx uh, brow glue to make my brows look wet there are a lot of uh, other trendsetters such as lady gaga when i was very young like when i was 13 12 14 i was really inspired by lady gaga's art like i know that she has a big team i know that she has a lot of people around but i know one thing lady gaga has her own opinion she gave us a fresh breath of air during the born this way era she looked kind of trashy when it was uh, the born this way era but she was the craziest bitch in the entire world the next step is blush i use my mac lip mix the pink color the uh lip mix uh, lip pigment uh, i don't i don't know it's magenta color, magenta tone. I just add a little bit of this product. This product is very bright, so we should be very patient when we mix it and use it. Uh, I literally have no idea what's going to be with my makeup. As you see, I just mix this. So now I apply it under my eyes. So my skin doesn't look too pale. It has a tone. This look has to be shiny, so I will use highlighter and actually this is just a product, like a pigment product by Krigina. Uh, actually, it is too much pigment inside. I'm always very scared to use it because pigment is like too bright. I will apply pigment right here. Oh my God, it's too much. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> look at my nose now i'm just i'm too sparkly but okay so let's do it like this is vogue diary style it's it's okay to be too sparkly in love with the glow of rihanna during her pregnancy she made the uh, pregnancy as a trend i've never seen such beautiful outfits and I don't know, just street style looks as uh, Rihanna's during the pregnancy. She really made um, pregnancy a thing. Like, um, I guess she inspired a lot of women to get pregnant and not to think if they would look uh, fat or ugly. And also, I'm in love with Sita. Uh, they are friends, I guess, since their bitch but i have my money music video and they made such beautiful photo together now i think I, i'm very excited to be pregnant also because this is a thing so rihanna is a huge trendsetter this is my favorite step right now because i'm going to be working with my eyes and uh, this is my favorite thing about makeup i will use uh, nyx professional makeup um ebml 01 epic black i don't know when i didn't feel like a trendsetter because living in my city uh, and being the first person who ever been crazy creative since i guess 2011 um is uh, a thing <laughs> like i was the first one who felt like um, who didn't fit uh since 2011 i was creating fashion looks and I was visiting fashion weeks as I was inspired by Julia Fox's makeup ideas like the way she creates her makeup I will use uh, this to work with the lines I don't care if the sketch will be failed 
it is okay not to be okay with that but I guess the first time I felt like a trendsetter was when I started getting sketches of my outfits from the um, artists and also I felt really blessed when I saw people doing makeup ideas inspired by me and also I was the first one in my city who created the looks with wigs. I started doing it in 2012 and um, by the 2021 I see a lot of people wearing wigs and now I feel like um, sort of someone who did it first. I really love this part. I guess I won't um, use any other colors to fill it. So now I have to do the second eye. And I hope I won't fail. For the lips, I will use Vivienne Sabot 301 black eyeliner. So I will start with the line. Who are the biggest trendsetters in the world? I think it is uh, designers, makeup artists, stylists, and some rare people who create their looks by themselves. Uh, because when we get the trend, we see it on the fashion show. A lot of designers, they create the whole trends. Also, when we see the um, uh, creative makeup ideas, uh, usually it goes through uh, from the runway. Uh, when we see celebrities, uh, we see the work of the stylist. So now I will use my root palette to add some purple shade uh, to my lips. I will just apply it um, in the center of my lips. So now I have some purple shades, as you see. I love this kind of blending but you can just go out without any kissing <laughs> because your partner will be uh, dirty <laughs> such an excellent i don't know this is crazy and the final part is my two faced melted latex um, lipstick i've never used it before but it actually looks like latex I will apply it to my lips. Oh, my lips are blended and we have two shades, black and purple. So I'm using my Edra Cats lenses and I'm just adding one. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Please stay, please stay. Yeah, this is the one. Now I will apply some eyelashes um and i will just use a little life hack i will just cut them and i will be applying the eyelash right here it's really pretty i love it it reminds me of some sort of mark jacobs fashion show i guess it looks really nice and I will add some rhinestones, very small and shiny rhinestones, so the look will be completed. People ask me if they can create uh, some unique kind of style without any budget. They can. As you see, my outfit was created with almost nothing, so <laughs> you can do anything you want, just get inspired by yourself. Get inspired by your mood and you will be very successful. Now I will add the wig. It is a big thing for me now to create my own trends also. Like I have my own style and I hope you will be excited to follow my Instagram and check out my other YouTube videos because they're great and I cannot wait to create a new sketch and create a new makeup and now I'm gonna be doing some selfies and I will just get some more inspiration because I feel like a trendsetter now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.